Hi guys, welcome to the RPB Resonance Chemistry. Now we are discussed about uh, another important lecture in coordination chemistry, which is nothing but uh, evidences in dissociative mechanism. Evidences of dissociative mechanism. Okay, so in previous lecture we have discussed about uh, different types of reaction mechanism. One is uh, like a dissociation, dissociation mechanism, associative mechanism, like interchange mechanism. Again, it is classified two types: interchange dissociative, interchange associative. Now in in this lecture we are discussed about uh, evidences for the dissociative mechanism. So generally, the, what are the scientific evidences uh, present over the like a dissociative mechanism? Generally, three types of evidences are present. So what is a uh, like a uh, equation? That means uh, water exchange reaction so not the equation so first one is water exchange water exchange reactions now the second one is uh, like a uh, anation reactions now the third one is uh, equation or hydration reactions simply it is called as hydrolysis reactions okay so these three types are uh, like a uh, scientific evidences for the dissociation mechanism now let us go through the first one so water exchange reactions water exchange reaction so generally water exchange means here the our complex is the aqueous complex okay it is having this certain positive charge so here it is a central metal atom ligands are aqua complexes so now one of the aqua ligand, one of the octahedral site of aqua ligand, which is replaced by the like isolated labeled uh, aqua, that is a heavier aqua, heavier aqua ligand. Now here it forms the MOH take, now here isotoped OH2 five times. So this is the complex. There is no change in, there is no change in the charge on the complex. Why? Because both are neutral ligands. Now here one is one is water molecule okay so such type of reactions are called water exchange reactions whenever so like a, a, a isotope labeled isotope labeled heavier aqueous ligand will be replaced by the one of the normal aqueous ligand then it is called a, a water exchange reaction then it is called water exchange reaction so, so here MOH2 bond readily dissociated. Okay, first, firstly MOH2 bond readily dissociated. Then after OH2 bond is formed. OH2 bond is formed. So such type of mechanism we observed in dissociate dissociative mechanism only. Okay, so this type of mechanism we observed only like a dissociative manner. That's why it is dissociative mechanism. Now here it is a like a SN1 mechanism. Like here it follows the first order kinetics. First order kinetics so these three are uh, very helpful to uh, like uh, evident for the uh, dissociative mechanism dissociative mechanism now uh, some of the times uh, CSAR and gate uh, they are framed the questions like this like uh, uh, they are given in the different different types of cations so among the following uh, cation aqueous complexes uh, which one having the more uh, water exchange mechanism more water exchange mechanism so here the matter uh, water exchange mechanism will depend upon the like a charge density charge density here the charge density is directly proportional to the charge and inversely proportional to the size of cation size of ion okay so generally if charge on the complex increases charge density increases if charge uh, size of the uh, ion increases charge density decreases this is the general phenomenon so which is uh, reflected on the same equation okay now generally let us discuss if charge on the complex increases charge on the complex increases now what will happen charge density increases charge density increases then if charge density increases then metal water hydration like metal water bond length sorry bond strength increases metal water bond strength increases okay so now those reactions are very difficult to like uh, those reactions are very difficult for the water exchange okay whenever the metal metal water bond length is uh, more bond strength is less then those reactions are favors the like a uh, uh, water exchange reaction now let us go through the very uh, clear cut explanation about uh, size of the cations now now I, I would like to take the same group of cations like the same group of cations so here same group cations 
that means uh, charge is the same charge is same so here if charge is the same there is an uh, there is a unaffected there, uh, that means uh, here we could not able to identify which one is readily participates the like water exchange mechanism so that's why we will go through the size of the ion size of the cation so in a group that means the top to bottom size increases it is a general phenomenon okay general trend top to bottom size increases if top to bottom size of the cation size of the cation increases okay now if size of the cation increases charge density decreases charge density decreases if charge density decreases then metal water bond strength decreases bond strength decreases okay now again metal water bond length increases bond length increases okay now if metal water bond length increases so higher the bond length that means it is readily breaks readily dissociated now here readily dissociated readily dissociated now what will happen saying top to bottom size increases bond length increases they are ready to prone for the like water exchange reactions water exchange reactions this is the general phenomenon uh, which are involved in the water exchange reaction now let us go through the some of the classification of a metal cations okay here uh, ions are classified into four types so those four class uh, ions uh, will gives the clear cut information about water exchange speed water exchange rate constant now let us go through the water uh, classification of metal ions okay let us discuss the classification of uh, ions okay now here the four classifies classification Here the first class, class one. Now here, class two. Now here, class three. Here, class four. So these four. Okay. Now the metal ion water exchange classification mainly depends upon the rate constant. Mainly depends upon the rate constant. Now the first one is very fast, a uh, very fast reactions. Okay. Now here. Fast reactions, but slower than the first one. But slower than the first class. Okay. Now here it is a fast reactions, but slower than first and second. First and second. Now here a very like a, a slow reactions. Sometimes it is called as inert reactions. Sometimes it is called inert reactions, which is a very less speed than uh, remaining three classifications. Okay. Now here the rate constant of the first class elements here it may be possible it is a ten to the power eight. Ten to the power eight. That much of speed is there. Okay. Whenever ten to the power eight second inverse. Okay. Now the uh, rate constant value is ten to the power eight. Now here the second case ten to the power four to ten to the power eight second inverse. So though if rate constant value lies between these range, then it is classified as a class two elements. If the rate constant uh, like a uh, which is lies between the one to ten to the power four, one to ten to the power four, that means uh, one into uh, like a uh, one to ten thousand second inverse, then it is uh, classified like uh, classified as the third class elements. Now here ten to the power minus six to ten to the power minus two, it is classified as fourth group elements. Okay. Now the like uh, examples uh, and the classification of uh, these four elements. Now let us go through the one of the example. Now here alkali metals. Here the first one is uh, like a plus two elements. The, uh, here the plus two elements that means uh, uh, plus one and plus two elements, not plus uh, plus two. Now here alkali as well as alkali earth metals. Alkali alkali earth metals. Okay, so in case of alkali earth metals, uh, small size of uh, beryllium plus two and magnesium plus two, not uh, not uh, like uh, not lying in the range of ten to the power eight seconds. So now here, these are exceptional. Okay, so except these two, all alkali earth metals was uh, classified in the first class elements. Okay, now this is the first one. Again, group tall elements, group tall elements. That means uh, like a uh, zinc, cadmium, mercury. Okay, group twelve elements. Here also one exception is there. Here except zinc plus two. Except zinc plus two. Okay. Now the final one is like a chromium plus two and when like a copper plus two. 
okay here d4 and d9 configuration these these two shown the like a uh, john taylor distortion due to the john taylor distortion which gives the more and more like a red constant that's why these are classified at the first step, first class elements first class elements now let us go through the second class element now the second class examples are so the first one plus two that means divalent divalent transitional metal series trivalent transitional metal ions so which are included in the class 2 elements class 2 elements again some of the exceptions now here mg plus 2 and titanium plus 3 so one of the plus 3 elements will show the more uh, uh, water exchange reactions that's why here it's shown the plus 3 configuration now again uh, trivalent lanthanides plus 3 lanthanides uh, will lies in the uh, 10 to the power 4 to 10 to the power 8 uh, rate constant that's why which is uh, uh, considered as class 2 elements okay now in case of uh, class 3 elements uh, the first example is uh, like a uh, plus 3 that means a trivalent uh, trivalent first series of transitional metal elements okay not that point transitional metal ions first series only okay not the 4d 5d series only 3d series okay now here first series 3d that means scandium to zinc series scandium to zinc among them here the plus three elements are plus titanium plus three element will show the more 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 character that's why here it it, it shown like this okay uh, again here cobalt plus three chromium well, sorry uh, chromium plus three cobalt plus three will show the some of the inertness character that's why uh, some of the plus three elements will shown over here okay now again the second one second example now here like a uh, gallium plus three aluminium plus three aluminium plus three and gallium plus three will show the like a uh, plus a uh, plus three category now the third one is uh, like a uh, uh, here the one is the exceptional uh, element is there beryllium plus two here it is the beryllium plus two and uh, vanadium plus two okay generally divalent uh, divalent cations will show the class two category but here vanadium plus two will show the like a uh, very lesser uh, water exchange property that's why here oh, present over there so beryllium plus two and vanadium plus two so these three examples are class three again uh, class four elements generally cobalt plus three chromium plus three like a four d five d series rhodium plus three ruthenium plus three like a ruthenium plus two as well as a platinum plus two like a iridium plus three such type of inert complexes are uh, classified the fourth group element fourth class elements okay now here class one is greater than that of class two class two is greater than that of class three class three is greater than that of class four generally like a plus two elements are greater than that of a plus three exceptionally plus two of the vanadium plus two vanadium plus two will show the less character when compared to all the divalent series okay again all the divalent series some of the uh, elements will show the more character now here chromium, uh, chromium plus two copper plus two due to the dynamic giant color distortion that's why here it's shown the more and more character here in case of a plus three elements one exception is there so titanium plus three will show the more character again lanthanide plus three elements will show the more water exchange property when compared to the like a trivalent first transitional elements again 4d 5d series of plus three elements will show the like here again here plus three cr plus three that that is a d3 and d6 configurations uh, will show the inert configuration inert configuration that's why those are classified as a fourth group element. let us go through the one of the series i'll give the very simple series uh, for the uh, useful of uh, csr and gate exams okay now i'll give the very simple example okay now here with the help of this category now here plus two series now first i'll give the plus two water exchange series now here chromium plus two copper plus two will show the more character so chromium plus two copper plus two uh, whenever the copper plus two is more gentle or distortion when compared to the chromium plus two we have discussed over the like a uh, hydration enthalpy also over that okay now uh, again a uh, plus two elements uh, generally uh, this is the divalent series now here plus two vanadium plus two will show the less character vanadium plus two will show the less character then after uh, left to right size will be decreases uh, lesser the size uh, and now present over there like uh, nickel plus two like iron plus two okay now again uh, some of the mm, metal uh, like uh, plus two elements now here mn plus two this is a d5 configuration cfs is zero again zinc plus two zinc plus two so these three these this is the uh, water exchange series of plus two elements divalent uh, uh, divalent cations now in case of uh, trivalent cations generally like uh, uh, chromium plus three will show the uh, less character 
when compared to the uh, like a titanium plus three titanium plus three is a second category that's why we are present over there now again a chromium plus three like vanadium plus three uh, iodine plus three okay this is the uh, trivalent cation series trivalent cation series this is very uh, helpful to predict the water exchange mechanism i saw the one of the example regarding to the like uh, this category okay now we we'll go through the remaining reactions now the second reaction is uh, anation reaction anation reaction simply anion replaced by the water ligand then it is called the anation reaction here metal like a six water molecule over the present uh, like a positive charge now any anion that means anionic ligand which is replaces the one of the water molecule now here uh, here the uh, minus is entering into the complex that means n minus one plus now here water is eliminated that is a neutral molecule so whenever the anion which is replaced by the one of the water molecule in coordinated site octahedral coordinated site then it is called anion anion reaction then it is called anion reaction so, so generally anion reactions also it follows the dissociation mechanism okay now here MOH2 is uh, like a slow step so slow step means it is rate determining step rate determining steps will give us the information about uh, like a uh, first order kinetic okay here does not affect on the like a nuclear file first order kinetics as well as uh, in similar way first order kinetics sn1 mechanism okay so all these uh, anation reactions also will give us the information about a dissociation dissociative mechanism so now i'll give the one of the example like a uh, nickel h2o six times okay plus three here uh, any one of the halogen ion which replaces the nickel complex now here it's on the nickel h2o six times uh, sorry five times here x minus plus three becomes now generally nickel which shown the plus two character now plus two becomes plus one here water is eliminated water neutral water is eliminated such type of reactions will give the information about uh, like a uh, uh, anation reaction proceeds through the dissociation mechanism dissociation mechanism now the final one is uh, like a equation reaction that is hydrolysis reaction okay equation reactions that is a hydrolysis reactions so generally hydrolysis reactions uh, maybe it is presence of acid catalyst or base catalyzed reactions or sometimes uh, neutral medium catalyzed reactions are also there okay so generally acid catalyzed reactions so now here uh, any any of the ligands not only water molecule so now here ml5 one is x group okay so here ex is replaced by the aqua ligand okay hydrolysis means water ligand will entering into the coordination complexes that means one of the leaving group which is replaced by the aqua ligand then it is called hydrolysis reaction now this aqueous ligand replacement in presence of acidic medium then it is called acidic acidic hydrolysis reactions acidic hydrolysis reactions now here uh, h2o ligand entering into the complex now here here plus n becomes a uh, n plus 1 no, that may be n plus 1 now here x minus is eliminated x minus is eliminated now here it is a x is a leaving group oh2 is entering the group oh2 is entering the group now generally acidic hydrolysis give, uh, good not able to give the information about either sn1 mechanism or sn2 mechanism we will discuss the another lectures uh, whether it, it follows the sn1 mechanism or sn2 mechanism now here in basic medium ML5 X so here OH minus replaces the leaving group then it is called a base hydrolysis then it is called a base hydrolysis here charge cannot be changed why because negative ligand change uh, like replaces the negative negative ligand that's why here there is no change now here OH minus replaces not the water ligand if water ligand replaces then it is acidic hydrolysis if OH minus replaces then it is uh, like basic hydrolysis reaction so now here OH minus is entering a group. Okay, now X minus is leaving group. Okay, X minus is leaving group. Now here one of the condition X having the at least one lone pair of electron. One lone pair of electron. Now this is the minimum condition of uh, acidic hydrolysis. In next lectures we will discuss the like acidic hydrolysis and basic hydrolysis as well as conjugate base mechanism also. Okay. Now let us solve the one of the problem which is given in the gate 2018. Okay. Now let us solve the one of the problem which is given in gate 2018. Okay, which is given for one marker. The water exchange rates for the following complex ions follows the order. Okay, they are given in the four options. In four options, they are given the uh, like a 
same uh, complexes but a different order okay so we, we know that uh, basic information for the water exchange reactions plus 2 is greater than that of a plus 3 in case of uh, transitional elements transitional elements again um, plus 2 cases uh, some of the exceptions are there so chromium plus 2 and uh, copper plus 2 will show the more than that of uh, plus 2 uh, normal valency elements again uh, here Vanadium plus 2 will show the lesser character. Okay, this is the simplest representation. Now, here the plus 2 transitional elements among the first two first transitional elements, uh, chromium plus 2, copper plus 2 will show the more character when compared to normal plus 2 elements. Uh, and the normal plus 2 elements uh, will show the more character when compared to vanadium plus 2. So, these three discussions we are uh, discussed in our water exchange mechanism. Again, in case of a plus 3 elements, so plus 3 titanium plus 3 will show the more character than the normal plus 3 elements okay so then after like a chromium plus 3 and copper cobalt plus 3 will show the inert characters like a, which is a inert character now let us looking out uh, the uh, options now the first option vanadium plus 3 okay i think uh, here it is plus 2 okay now here among the plus 2 plus 3 which is more stable which is uh, more ready to uh, faster the vast water exchange reactions generally in generally plus 2 is more so among the four options uh, plus 3 is first is there now here it is b so this is wrong option why because plus 2 is more uh, facilitate to exchange the water molecule when compared to plus 3 elements so that's why here the uh, uh, here this is uh, eliminated okay now let us go through the remaining options now here the cobalt plus 2 chromium plus 3 vanadium plus 2 so vanadium plus 2 is least, least the least uh, lesser than the like uh, all the plus 2 elements all the plus 2 elements uh, but uh, similarly higher than the plus 3 elements okay vanadium plus 2 lies between the plus 3 and plus 2 plus 3 and uh, plus 2 again uh, if plus 3 general plus 3 elements it may be same category that uh, inert elements class 4 like uh, class 4 plus 3 elements uh, or very lesser reactivity that's on uh, like a uh, very inert complexes now here cobalt plus 3 and chromium plus 3 will show the inert character now here chromium plus 3 is least okay so chromium plus 3 is least uh, first and uh, fourth option now here c is also eliminated so least chromium plus 3 chromium plus 3 but here vanadium plus 2 cobalt plus 2 okay so cobalt plus 2 will show the more character than that of vanadium plus 2 that's why we'll go through the option number b is correct option number a is wrong why because vanadium plus 2 among the all the plus 2 ions vanadium plus 2 will will show the like a uh, lesser facilitate to uh, exchange the water molecule okay now here plus 2 is lesser than that of the cobalt plus 2 that's why option number d is correct here plus 2 is greater than that of cobalt plus 2 that's why option number a is wrong very easier question for getting the gate marks okay thank you for watching